Hi, this is Dale. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at two relays here. I've got uh, this one. This is a Chinese relay. Uh, part number is JD1914. Now, I, I didn't uh, listen to our vice president's uh, recommendations to do Google on that part number, but I did do DuckDuckGo. And uh, when I did, uh, it came up, the first thing that came up was Amazon. You could buy four of these uh, relays with the uh, with the pigtail plugs onto them. Four pigtails, four relays for just a hair over $10 with free shipping. Uh, so, uh, you know, they're, they're like $2.50 a piece, what, what they are. Now, this is a Bosch. It's used. This is out of a... a believe about a 93 or 94 uh, Jeep uh, XJ Cherokee. And uh, it's, it is a Bosch. Uh, part number on it was, uh, get the right side here, was a 1626-239. Now, I also duck duck go that, uh, and I found them for sale between $7 and $10 for one relay. So that's, that's what we got. Now, this... Chinese relay. Uh, it came out of a remote start kit, brand new kit, and it was uh, uh, dead out of the box. It's just complete junk. I, I've got it ready to take apart, but I haven't pulled it apart yet. And same way with the Bosch. Bosch works perfectly. Uh, my tester here, I can uh, put the, uh, the Chinese job in there and hit the test button. And as you can see, it doesn't even test. It just comes up because it's not any good. So then I can do the Bosch here and hit the test button. Now it'll go to a, through a sequence of testing that, um, I believe it's 10 times, and then it'll come up and tell you whether it's any good or not. And there it is, green light, it is good. So let's start with, uh, I guess the Chinese one. So I've got it ready to come apart. I think I can just pull it apart. Yeah, right there. And uh, look at it, see if there's any physical. And actually there is. It's right there. We don't even have to, to run continuity tests on this or anything. Uh, I can see right here that that contact is completely missing. And uh, it's not even in the inside of the case. It's got, it, so, so they actually assembled this uh, and shipped it. Uh, with that contact broke off of there. It, it didn't, wasn't broken off after it was manufactured. It was broken off during manufacturing. So as usual, uh, stuff we get from China, this uh, is kind of the, you know, who cares? Just ship it and we'll sell it for $2.50. And, and, uh, and who knows what they cost to make one of these, you know, a quarter at best, probably. So there's our problem. Let's uh, now pull apart the Bosch, and then we can kind of compare the two for quality. So there's our Bosch, and uh, let's get it around here. So there's the, get to focus, there's our contact that's missing on the other one. So this is a uh, electromagnet right here, and that's what pulls this down and makes the contact is when uh, electricity is applied to the magnet, and it, then it pulls that down and makes contact across here, which comes out through this terminal right here. So in comparing these two, I guess, we'll put them side by side. Now, the one thing I see right off is there's a lot more windings on this magnet than there is on this one. So this one's going to be much stronger, of course, than this is to pull, pull that down. Uh, the other thing I see too is that uh, all of our all of our terminals seem to be brass in the Bosch unit, and in the Chinese job um, must be made out of recycled Hyundai's because uh, it just looks like a really cheap metal for their terminals. Um, you know, other than that, I guess you know, there's not much many components in a in a relay. Uh, I looks like the contacts um, 
are copper on the Chinese job and uh, some kind of a metal, silver metal in the Bosch unit. So uh, the other thing I was going to do, uh, if I can find my scale here, grab that real quick. I was going to weigh them and see if there's a weight difference. And I'm sure there probably is going to be uh, because of the size of that winding on that coil. So there we are at zero. Let's take the Bosch, put it on. 1.3 ounces, it appears to be. And uh, let's take the Chinese job. 1.1. So we got um, almost a quarter of an ounce uh, heavier on the Bosch. And like I say, I'm pretty sure that's probably in that, that coil winding there more than anything. Because there's a lot more on that to uh, to make that magnet work better. So there you go. Um, you know, I, I just I'm going to start doing uh, uh, some segments of doing this with different components, not necessarily uh, defective components, but I'm going to buy, uh, say, an ignition switch for. Uh, uh, 67 Camaro, and I'll get one that's made in North America if I can find one. If not, I'll find a, uh, an old uh, used OEM that still is good. And buy a Chinese unit, and we'll tear them apart, look at the quality difference in them. And uh, uh, some stuff I think we can probably put on a, uh, put to a stress test, see which which one will will withstand, say, you know, uh, uh, how much amperage or, uh, along those lines. So that's kind of my plan. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I am really tired of buying this, this Chinese junk. And, uh, and it ended up being uh, defective out of the box. Customer might make it, you know, a thousand miles and say there was a relay and I'd break that piece off of there because it's, it's just cheaply made. And then your customer's mad uh, because the problem they brought the car in for uh, and paid you money to fix is now broken with the same problem again. After a while, they, they uh, customers get uh, so they don't really believe your uh, it's Chinese crap uh, excuses. So what I'm hoping for is, as they show more and more of this, that people will quit buying the Chinese. And if we quit buying it, they'll quit uh, sending it over here. You know, manufacturers, and all the main manufacturers are doing it. doesn't matter who it is, uh, they, are, they are supplying us with a lot of junk. And uh, uh, saying, I, I'm really tired of it. And I'm a lot more willing to spend uh, $10 on a part that works and to pay two dollars and fifty cents for one that doesn't. Now I'm guessing why that they that you buy these in uh, a lot of four for ten dollars is because in the lot of four um, one of them will work. That's my guess. And then you can throw the other three in the garbage, and you're just uh, nice even. You know, you gambled it uh, uh, with with not buying a, a quality unit in the first place. So I'm going to wrap this up, uh, and uh, I thank you very much for watching this, and uh, um, I'll just try to continue to do this. They're a little time-consuming. Uh, I was hoping to do once one a week, but I'm not sure if I'll, I'll get there or not. Uh, so i say with that, thanks very much for watching. I hope everyone that's watching this has a blessed day. Thank you.